Let me tell you a story about old Salty 65. He's ex Navy and he's one hell of a guy. You know his stories, they're gonna make you feel alive. So come on and subscribe to all Salty 65. Hi guys, how are you? Well, I got a PM from a guy yesterday, and this is all about, this got up my nose. Uh, all about people saying things that they know nothing about. Now, I don't know where this guy got his information from, but he didn't get it out of any book or the internet that I know of. Now what's happened, there's a guy in America called The Pullman, that has got a channel, I'll drop a link down below so you can go there sub to him please who does characters of people now he's, I've been honoured for him to do me one now he asked me what ship I would like in the background and my most favourite ship was a ship called HMAS Duchess and its bow number was 154 or at some stage they had D154 on the bow now, he, I said to him, look, I don't care which picture you use, it's up to yourself. So he Googled it and he found two photos, or well, he found a number of pictures of the uh, Duchess on there. Uh, one with D154 on it and one with 154 on it. Well, the significance of the D is, there's two, people take two ways. One, it was the destroyer, or two, because of the class of ship, which is a daring class destroyer. One of the nicest little ships the uh, Australia owned back in those days. There was two or three of them. But he sent a PM to a guy asking which of the two should he use. Instead of asking me, which is not his fault, he thought he'd be a bit sneaky, but it backfired <laughs> uh, on this other guy, I'm afraid. Uh, and this person has told him that don't use the one with D154 on it. Use the one with 154 on it because the D154 sank with all hands on board. Well, it sort of got up my nose. And I read this last night and sent it on the 7th. This has got up my nose. We have never lost a ship with the bow number one D154. Duchess was lent to the Australian Navy back in 1965 after HMAS Voyager was hit by the Melbourne, cut in half by the Melbourne and it eventually sank with loss of life. Now, Duchess was originally HMS Duchess. We actually kept the first name, added an A and called her the Her Majesty's Australian ship Duchess. And that's where it got HMAS and it's its number was 154. It, I can't even get, I'm getting cranky thinking about it. The people who don't know their naval history should just keep their big mouths shut. Yes, we have had a couple of ships lost with all lives on board. One being HMA Sydney back in the Second World War. Uh, I think there was one in the First World War, but there has been very, very, very few of our ships ever sunk with total loss of life. Now, what happened was, what they do is, uh, when a carrier does flight manoeuvres, they have a ship that sits behind it, right? It sits back here, probably a mile. Now when they come off flight stations, after they're finished, the ship comes up and it goes this way. It goes to starboard. Well, what happened with Voyager? They turn in front of the carrier and the carrier cut it clean enough. Now, that happened the year before I joined the Navy in 1964, hence 1965, Old Salty 65, it's the year I joined the Navy, not my age. So I've got that clip. And that's the difference between D154 and 154. There's no difference, the same ship. It was never sunk with all the loss of life. And I don't care if this bloke unsubscribes to me. I couldn't care less. I know Pullman won't because he's a nice bloke. But this other Galar, Fairingham, 
If you don't know your naval history, sunshine, keep that sharp. That's how crank I am with you, buddy. You got to want to argue with me? Go for it. Catch us all later. Oh, by the way, so far, so good. Joyce, just hanging in there. May or may not. We don't know whether he's going to have this second operation. We're still hanging. Alright, guys.